right, folks, this is old uh, G. Paul coming to you. We're at the house today. Oh. Uh, got my drink. About thirst death. I did, uh, I did hook to my trailer. I have back my race car out of the trailer this afternoon. It's getting all these little old pollen pods, I call them, come out of these, I think, gum trees all over it right now, which I don't like, but it needs cleaned up anyway. I hadn't cleaned up since I got it home. Tennessee, it's been sitting in the box, is all y'all know, and, uh, I'm doing, I got, long story short, I got it backed out. And I got to taking the uh, wheels off. I was on the first wheel, took it off. I was just going to grind my brake uh, pads and grind over the rotor a little bit. You scuff it up, you know, get it ready to grab hold of something come Saturday night, hopefully. Uh, and realize it broke another pad. Not bad. Chipped another pad. And it chipped the same pad last year. So there's something to do going on in this corner, but got to look and the rotor is just used up. It's, man, the, the inside of the rotor's got a groove that's probably a quarter of an inch deep. Uh, outside's got a groove where it's done dug in. They all wore uneven, so I'm going to grind them back flat. Long story short, oh, g Paul got a spare rotor, believe it or not. Got a spare new rotor. I wished I had two. I got one. But you know what? Right now, I only need one. I ain't took the other wheel off, so. When I take it off, I might be saying I wished I had two. Boy, these, that blame gnats are horrible. That ain't got me an eye. Little bastard. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. But it, as I was saying, and what reminded me of the phone, I'm out of rhythm on video and have my car here and working and it's just all out of rhythm. Give out, tired, aggravated, disgust, all the above. You got it, I am it, you know. It's all good though, because I'm a baby and baby makes me smile. It's like my wife makes me smile. Anyway. Eddie Runyon's. Y'all, Eddie Runyon's at ER Bodies and Fabrication out of Duck River, Summertown, Tennessee. Whichever one you want to refer to, Duck River address, about 30, 40 minutes from Summertown. We're going to call it Duck River up there in the hills. How about that? Because he lives up in the hills, and they some some big hills and and at the bottom of them got these prettiest pastures. And y'all, when I went to pick up baby, it was turkeys, strutting, fanned out, gobblers, hens, all over the place in the fields at 10 o'clock in the morning. There was a storm coming in, and God, they were active. I bet you I seen five, six different fields of turkeys in it. And every one of them had a couple gobblers in them in full strut, just a drum and dragon, boy. I thought, God damn. Thank God, thank God, I was in Mr. Allen truck, or I'm just going to be honest. It might have been a little nasty up in Tennessee. Papa might have got locked up, because if I'd have been in my truck and had my gun, mm, what I'd have done to those birds ain't even funny. Thank you, Allen Gillis, for loaning me your truck keeping me out of prison. Thank you, Eddie Runyon's. Putting this dress on baby and making her so pretty for the big dance coming up. I'm going to show y'all the baby here in a little while. I'm not going to show you baby quite yet. Baby got the hood off. I don't want you, I don't want you looking under her skirt now. Funny about that, isn't it? You don't mess with a man's baby. You don't mess with a man's woman. So uh, don't look at her skirt. Got her skirt up. Pull it off. I'm going to get her covered up and I'm going to get her blowed off. And then I'm going to give y'all a little grand tour. Like old George Jones said in the song. Grand tour, baby. But let me get back to work on this here uh, brake situation. And get these 
pretty wheels put on. I'm gonna show you what I'm putting on, putting these little chrome daddies on. Yeah. Big daddies right there, them chrome. What do you think? Gonna look good on baby, ain't it? Gonna look good on baby. What do you think, what do you think? Look at that. They lined up, a few of them anyway. Hey, at least I got four. I got six, actually, I got two beadlocks. I need some more beadlock chrome, guys. Anybody got any beadlock chrome out there? Give me a holler. G. Paul needs some badly. I got two. I got two beadlock chrome, and I've got a... Four or five non-beadlock chrome. Y'all can see I done sort of shined the outside of this rotor and then I got to the inside and, and I realized I had issues. Y'all can't really see it, but I'm gonna show y'all the hole that come in. All right, guys. I'm gonna set y'all over here. Y'all gonna get to sit here and ride along as we take this little wonderful trip. Getting these, uh, getting this rotor changed out, I'm gonna... I'm going to face some pads up, crack padding off right now because I'll try to get a new set, but hell, them things are high. g Paul ain't running them that long. g Paul got them at the end of the year last year. So more than likely, what I'm telling y'all, <clears throat> is g Paul probably going to just face them pads right there with that crack in it. You're going to run the piss out of it. Unless some of y'all have some new set of racing pads and want to donate to g Paul, g Paul going to run what he got. Or run what you brought. Trying to prop my camera up. Point it down. But it ain't having it. Uh, we'll forget about it. All right, guys, y'all follow along. Hey, I'm getting off this thing while I get a little stupid. And uh, I got to go find a new boat. I had one boat that was stripped out as usual. Finally got a pipe wrench on it, got it off. You know, it don't matter what you do. And it don't matter what you're doing in life. There's always going to be something or somebody that screws it up for you. And... The very last one. 35 minutes involved in one. Now I got to take the rest of them out. But they're loose. So I'm going to get them. Y'all follow along. We're going to have a good time today. You know, I have, uh, I've told you guys before that I'm sort of new to this too, even though I'm 52, 53 years old, I'm sort of new to this. Uh, back in the day when I raced 30 years ago, we didn't, we didn't have fancy cars like this. Man, it looks like it's gonna blow in the rain. God, I hope not. I got this car out and got shit everywhere, but it sure looks like it. I better be getting wound down a little bit. Anyway, we didn't have fancy cars like this, and uh, I had to call somebody to find out how to get their rotor off. I mean, I felt like you had to take drive flange all the way off, but I had to call somebody to find out for sure you did. I called Alan, and, uh, well, I didn't call Alan, send him a message, and he didn't get back with me yet. He's probably working or something. So I called Hunter Holloway, good buddy of mine's always helped me out in every situation I've ever been in. And uh, Hunter told me, he said, yeah, I mean, you got to take that whole thing off some people, pull her off and try to get it done before this rain comes in because I got to get baby and dry. Let me get it, boys. Here we go. All right, y'all. Oh. <clears throat> I've been watching, I've been working on this little hot rod this season, trying to get a few things done. I can get it ready to race come uh, next weekend. 
<clears throat> man, I've run around the world this evening. Up yonder where my car's for sale. I got a little Porsche for sale up there. I had to put the battery on charge, stretch cord, crank it up. I forgot it was running. The guy stopped by to look at it. The hell, I forgot it was even running. I run up there, car's running. He's looking for straight shift. Mine's automatic with the triptronic shifters on the steering wheel. Anyway, thought it was going to rain. Put the battery charger up, wind the cord up, get back down here, rush around, cover some stuff, throw the hood on baby, get back on it. One wheel I spent three damn hours on probably. Everything happened that could happen then. And I didn't ever get the rotor changed out because I couldn't get the hub off because I broke every bit I had and one broke off in a Allen head on the hub uh, assembly. Long story short, I got them all done to my satisfaction. And we go, we're gonna be ready to roll. I'm fixing to hook the air up, blow this baby off. Ain't no washing today. We're gonna get her in the box. We're gonna get backed up, get us bath, get ready for work in the morning. You know, I'm a working man. I bust my tail and uh, get ready for ball games all week. I got one off day. I'm just going to have to hustle around, get everything together, and be ready to rock and roll when I get off work Saturday evening. That's what we got to do. Uh, I meant to get measurements today. I'll get them Tuesday because I'm going to unload the car again, or at least get it rolled out of the trailer. I'll get measurements in. I'll get the uh, trailer finished loading, and I'll get the car cleaned up and a tape number on her for this weekend. And we're going to rock and roll. Y'all come see me at West Alabama. I'll try to give you a heads up if something comes up between now and then, but don't plan on it. I'm tired of sitting sideline, running the camera. I'm ready to run a wheel. I'm ready to get out there and have some fun with them boys. They fast. They bad fast. I want to see if I'm fast. We'll see. Hey, appreciate y'all for uh, watching these videos and... Thank each and every one of y'all. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the subscriptions. Turn somebody else on. Get old Papa a few more people. Thanks, guys. Love you. All right. Papa tired. I'm, uh, I'm gonna finish putting this stuff in the trailer and get my buddy and get me a bass, get ready. He's about to supper and get ready to go to work. I'll be there at six in the morning. Y'all have a good evening, whatever day y'all watch this on. And uh, if you can't come to West Alabama Speedway this weekend, man, y'all go to a track somewhere near you. Whether you live in Oklahoma, uh, Missouri, Tennessee, South Carolina, Louisiana, Georgia, Mississippi. They tracks everywhere. Go to the local tracks, support them guys. We all, we all are about the same. We all struggle to make it to the track every week. And, and we do it because we love it and we enjoy putting on a show for you guys. Uh, so y'all support somebody this weekend. Buy a shirt from a local guy. Help a local guy out. Uh, they can use it just like I can. Appreciate y'all. What's up, y'all? Tuesday night, and I do mean Tuesday night, about 8 o'clock, just getting back from my ball game. Day was pretty filled up on me today. Didn't get to do much here on the car. Uh, I had to go to town this morning and, and deal with uh, where I, I don't even know if I told y'all. Uh, wrecked my car, I think I did, on, on the video I done Sunday. Maybe Saturday night, I don't know. Anyway, wrecked my car Friday afternoon, and of course the insurance office south was closed <clears throat> the time we got it wrapped up, so had to work all day Monday. Uh, so I got ready to deal with that this morning. Ran to town, took care of what I needed to take care of on my car. Uh, just had to wait to hear back from the adjuster on it. Got everything set up to, you know, get that process started. Uh, 
See if we're gonna fix it or what we're gonna do on it. Probably fix it. But I got some hail damage on it I'm wanting to get fixed, so it may may be cheaper on them to write me a check for it and, and let me just move on. I don't know. I'm sort of I got mixed emotions on moving on though. We bought that car basically new from Carl Cannon Chevrolet and Jasper. And uh first new car I had bought long time. First car I've ever bought that I loved five years later, two years later. Most of the time you buy a car or I buy a car and I drive for a year and a half, two years, I'm ready to get something else. But uh, oh precious, I hung on to her a long time. And and I still got her. Uh, she's a little banged up right now, but she'll be odd if they fix her, she'll be fine. But I've held on to Precious since 2010, and it is 2024. I've had a little over uh, 13 years, well, August will be 14 years that I've had that car. And I still love it today as much as I did then, so I'm okay if I fix it. I do need the money, though. I could use money right now. I need it. I need a, a, something to pull my race car with a little more dependable and you know, I, I think we can depend on the one I got, but I, I need something else. So I'd love to have a motorhome, to be honest with you, to pull the race car with. That way we could crawl in the back, go to sleep at the end of the night. You know, me and G's getting a little older, and uh, shit, this working all day, racing at night. And if we go off somewhere other than running a... Uh, Columbus, and there's even nights at Columbus I don't feel like driving home, or uh, West Alabama Speedway, eight nights up there, I, I don't mind driving home from there because we're done pretty early, but these late nights, I just soon climb in a vehicle and go to sleep, you know, get up and come home next morning, so that's what we look for a camper for, but a, or a motorhome for to pull with, but anyway, Walk back out here to the shop, or to the shop, to the trailer. See if I can't pull some of these ties tight. I don't know if y'all ever dealt with them or not. The exhaust ties, the metal ties, they are a SOB. I got a fuel line running there. And I'm on, I'm wrapping the exhaust that is close. To, oh, shit, I'm terrible at a camera to work. Let's see. I think y'all can see that. I got a fuel line running there and I have wrapped the exhaust and now I got to get the ties pulled tight. I wrapped it where it's close to the uh, fuel line and I'm gonna also put that, uh, that silver sleeve, that heat shield sleeve that I got laid across the car back Damn, I'm turning the camera the wrong way. Laying across the car there. I'm going to put that dude on that uh, fuel line too. Help keep it cool down. And uh, hopefully get by with that. I bought fittings to go in the uh, fuel pump to make it 90 out. But, uh, you know, man, I just don't want to break it loose. You know, when you're dealing with aluminum, you, you, you're dealing with something that's that's been together for... Uh, I've never had it apart. Uh, I know it's been on that car for five years, or on that motor. I know five years, probably longer than that, because yeah, as y'all know, this motor's never been going through or nothing. I, I mean, I have no issue with it. I really don't. The only thing I've ever done to it put valve springs on it one time, and they were the stock GM. I'm talking about. I went to, uh, I went over to uh, Jay Dickens and bought them. And I give 60 bucks for a whole set of valve springs. They're not match. They're not cryogenic pros. They're not nothing. They stop cheap valve springs. So that's what I got on. I replaced them at one time. Well, Jason Bird replaced them for me. But we put valve springs on one time. All I do is change oil in this motor. Every three shows or so. And uh, so I hate to break that that fit and loose off of that fuel pump. My luck, it's froze to it. I'll pull threads out. 
and then I'm down another week because I ain't got extra fuel pump. I ain't got time to fix it. So we're trying to make it work where we're at. Get old Papa away. Y'all follow along. Let's see what we can get done. I'm gonna try to get these wire ties pulled tight, like I said, and uh, and that's that's gonna be about it for tonight. I'm gonna give out. I gotta work in the morning. Be at work at six o'clock. Add change tomorrow. A lot to be done. Not a lot of time to get it done. Gonna be pushing as usual. Don't know when the next ball game is, but I'm sure it's right around the bend. And uh, here we go. Can't get inside the car, got it tighter all there and over there. You name it, it's going wrong. Going in the house, getting something to eat, going to bed, getting ready for it in the morning. We'll pick some clamps up tomorrow, and tomorrow will be a new day. Now, we'll pop off, be back. And we'll put a little bit more on this here camera for you and see how frustrated I get tomorrow. Hey, appreciate y'all watching this thing. Y'all keep watching. We keep doing. Pull on some subscribers for us. Numbers are coming up, and thank y'all for that. Appreciate each and every one of y'all that are new viewers. Special thanks to all y'all that's been along for this little wild ride from the get-go. Seen the good, the bad, the ugly. And uh, we got a lot coming your way this year. Gonna be good. Thank y'all.